diagonal of rhombus bisect each other at right angles. Let us take a rhombus. Let's call this as A, B, C and D. Let's draw the diagonals. <coughs> Let the point of intersection be called I. I know these are not straight lines, but please go more on the concept. Okay? Now, rhombus, just to revisit, rhombus is basically a parallelogram. Right? And the special property of rhombus is that all the four sides of a rhombus are equal. Or, in other words, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. Okay? In the previous lecture, what we saw was that in a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. If you want to see the proof of this, you can go to the previous video also. What this means is that AI, let me put 2 here, will be equal to IC and BI is equal to ID. Right? So these are the three broad parameters that I have. Now what I need to prove is that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. Meaning that let's say for example you have this angle and this angle both these angles will be equal to 90 degree. Or in other words you have to prove that angle AID is equal to angle DIC is equal to 90 degree. So that is where you want to reach basically. Okay. So now let us see what all does this mean. Right. So if you consider triangle AID, triangle AID, what does it looks like? and triangle DIC. Okay. Now let us see, can we prove that these two triangles are congruent? Right? And you must be wondering why am I doing this? We know that AC is a straight line. Right? AC is a straight line. And accordingly, angle AID and angle DIC form a linear pair. Therefore, angle AID plus angle DIC will be equal to 180 degree. Right? This being a straight line, this angle has to be 180 degree. If somehow we can prove that these two angles are equal to 90 degree or these two angles are equal, then we can just apply this rule to say both of them are 90 degree. And to do that, I need to prove that triangle AID is congruent to triangle DIC. Right? So let us see how this is working out. Angle AID. So in these two triangles, we know for sure that AI is equal to IC. Why? We've proved this at equation 1. For the reason highlighted there because diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Right? Also, ID is equal to ID because this is a common side in these two triangles. This side and this side. Also, AD is equal to DC. This is because these two sides are the sides of rhombus. A D C D.
okay now by the side 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 criterion we have proved that these two triangles are congruent right and if that be the case then their corresponding angles which is angle AID AID should be equal to angle DIC right because they lie between the common side and these two bisected portion so if these two are equal the sum of these two is 180 degree we know that for sure because this is a linear pair but both of them are equal hence we can also write that let's call this as x so we can also write this as x plus x is equal to 180 degree or x is equal to 180 divided by 2 90 degree hence these two angles are 90 degree and we can say that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles okay